Doha News is here in New York for the 77th UN General Assembly, where world leaders are gathered to hold extensive discussions over some of the most important issues around the world. This year, Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani gave yet another powerful speech, which was also his 10th since becoming the Amir of Qatar in 2013. The Emir started his speech by slamming the global divide and addressing key issues in the region and beyond. In his speech, the Emir touched on the ongoing Israeli occupation of Palestine, which is an issue that is at the heart of Qatar's foreign policy. I don't think the representatives of the different countries present here need to be reminded that the Palestinian questions remains without solution. In light of the continuous change of the situation on the ground, the occupation and its settlement activities is pursuing a policy of fait accompli. This will change the rules of the conflict and will change the format of solidarity in the future. The Syrian crisis was particularly highlighted in the Emir's speech amid an absence of a political resolution with the Bashar al-Assad regime remaining in power. The Emir said Syria is an example of the lack of global action in ending such crises. The international community was not able to hold war criminals in Syria accountable. What is even more disappointing is that some are trying to turn the page of the Syrian crisis, ignoring the sacrifices, the significant sacrifices made by the blighted Syrian people without fulfilling its aspirations, without ensuring the unity of Syria and ensuring peace and security. The Emir also welcomed everyone to Qatar for the World Cup, saying that the country is now ready after considerable planning, hard work and resolve. The latest session also comes in light of the global energy crisis that has been exacerbated by the Russian invasion of Ukraine. With European countries working towards dropping Russian gas, some have turned towards Qatar, which has been dominating supplies of liquefied natural gas. The crisis of the war in Ukraine might be new. However, having a political crisis turn into an energy crisis, that is not new. This situation has been exacerbating silently, even before the war in Ukraine. More discussions are set to take place throughout the week between Qatari officials and the international community. Stay tuned at DohaNews.co for more coverage from the UN in New York.